I am Anna Roy and today we will study about uh, the chapter of history part 3 of the third chapter of history that is the Delhi Sultans today by educational dust Anna Roy so let's go further so what I am talking about is that the Vyarobi first will come Vyarobi we were uh, of the garrison town of Empire. We have finished that, and we also knew that the garrison town to, uh, took total years. How many years? One fifty years. Total one fifty years. The garrison uh, town took to uh, the interior and our um, exterior frontier took uh, one fifty years to renew from Alagutin Khilji to Yasuddin Balban. You have to uh, just write this dates and just practice these dates because they are, these are very important actually. But you have to uh, just memorize the names such as Angapala, Prithvi Rajahan, then it's a long thing. And first thing also I should tell you that you have to remember that What do you have to remember? If you have read the chapter, if you have read the So I tell you You have to memorize Memorize the total period of time uh, From 1206 to 1526 uh, the time was of Delhi Sultan was the total of the Delhi Sultan on the Hindu dynasty is this time 1206 to 1206. Okay, you have to memorize that this is a total time period of the Delhi Sultan. Total time period of Delhi Sultan. Everything that is in the chapter is to tip to two you have to memorize the dates because in the seventh day uh, asking is very strict and you know this is lockdown and uh, everyone is making very difficult papers because they have time so you should learn in seventh class so we are going to re read about um, the masjids the mosques so uh, we know about masjids Mosques. So, where did the word masjids came from? Because the uh, the rulers of the Delhi Sultan, the rulers of the Delhi Sultan, Sultan were from Arabian West side, not from Pakistan. Do not expect Pakistan. Okay, they were from the different side they were from the west side west so their uh, mosques are called masjids so why did the kings uh, made masjids why so there are uh, many reasons for that The reasons. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, so these are the rules. You can see. First rule: spread brotherhood among the people. Second, show wealth. Third, gathering of Muslims. Fourth, make own rules. So first, we will move to spread brother brotherhood. If uh, he made mosques. People will think that he is a great ruler, he is a kind ruler, uh, he does great things for the kingdom. So they will like the ruler and from this uh, all the people will write, like the ruler and he will spread brotherhood. Second, show wealth to the other kingdoms. Uh, he showed wealth to the other kingdoms for show sure that she is very powerful. That is why he is making big temples, big mosques, big good. that in this gathering of many muslims at that time there were no administration of muslims in that time there was no administration 
are Muslims. That is why, because of no administration, this happened. Uh, uh, if there is no administration, there will be no community. He cannot rule properly. There was Hindu community in that area, and uh, they want to bring all the Muslims gathered from India to visit mosques. If they visit mosque, they will gather. Uh, they will gather here, and then they will find their destination. So I am making flowcharts. You have also to make flowcharts that I am making. It looks impressive. Second and. Uh, you will also memorize while making. Make own rules. Uh, we knew in the first chapter that there are two types of Muslims. You know? So comment in the comment box in one, two, and three. Then move on. So, who were them? Shia and Sunni Muslims. Educator, those 